Oh no. What's happening? I think Camille used as a predator. You're not going to tell me, are you? Just wait. It gets so romantic and it's just... <sighs> I'm waiting for the next book. Well, it's obvious that she ends up with Camellius. I mean, I don't know why she even considers Clyde. <laughs> what? I don't understand why you consider Vincenzo. You mean Giovanni? Whatever. I mean, it's obvious you don't have real feelings for him. Don't you want something, you know, serious? Something that could last? Serious relationships are highly overrated. It happened with my mother. What happened? She'd just been hired by the National Ballet Company to tour all over the world as a sugar plum fairy when she fell in love with my dad and all of her dreams got left behind. That's what serious relationships do and it's not happening to me. So the falling in love thing just didn't work out? No, they got married and had three kids, just celebrated their 34th anniversary. But the point is, she never got to see the world and she never got to be a sugar plum fairy to follow her dreams. Gee, Batman, when you put it like that, I mean, to think she could have been a sugar plum fairy instead of having this wonderful marriage and three kids? Sounds like a heartbreaking story. I should write a book about that. I just don't understand. Hey, Mel, did you find someone? No. Well, why don't you just use a stock photo? You did not just say that. At Southern Sunset, we create content. We do not borrow. Listen up, everybody. Poppy alert. She is going to be here and- Poppy is here. Didn't you see me? I waved from my parking place. Was that you? I came because I wanted to thank you in person for arranging to have Nathaniel Embers come and read for my cooking show. You know Nathaniel Embers? We've met. You're welcome. I'm going to be sitting on pins and needles in anticipation. What's he like? He's pretty good looking. Really funny. Suave. Think of like 007, but feminist version meets Shakespeare. Oh, he sounds dreamy. Hey, Mom. What? Why don't you do it? Do what? The photo shoot. Ooh, what photo shoot? You and Mel. You and look really good together. Oh, uh, I couldn't. Oh, John and I could do it. I'm in the middle of an article. That's it. Really? John and Olivia could do it. And I'm done. Flowers for Olivia Smith? Uh, here. We're here. Thanks. Well. Someone has a suitor with very good taste. I think Sonny had a great idea. You and Olivia would be great for this. What do you say, Olivia, huh? What? Uh, Mel needs us to help with the photo shoot. Sure, why not? All right. Oh, here. Put this on. And, uh... Do I need to change? Uh, yeah, put your hair down. All right. So, Ooh, this makes me happier than a pig in mud. All right, right over here, here. Okay, here, you sit there, and Olivia, just sit on his lap. You've got to be kidding, Mel. Sit on okay. his lap, thank you. That's it, thank you. Perfect. Okay, it's Christmas. You're under the mistletoe, and all right, you're gonna have to look like you like each other. So right now you don't. Um, put your arm on the shoulder there, and put your put your hand on her waist there, or on her knees, or something over there. Oh, okay. This is what I'm looking for. Now, look each other in the eyes. Okay, good. Now, that's good. You gotta look coming closer. Get those faces a little bit closer. That's good. Now, look like you're about to kiss. Okay, good, good. 
just kind of act like you're gonna like about to kiss and that's um about okay um great well okay okay now we're certainly going into some different territory here i don't think they're listening no they're not they're not listening i can use it i can use it this is Hey guys, hush, this is hotter than Georgia asphalt. Wow. I I felt uh I mean you felt it. And I did, and we all felt it. I mean Sonny's not even old enough and she felt it. So Let's move forward. Standing. And I want you to on either side of the mistletoe there. And now you're gonna frame up the uh, mistletoe and you're moving closer to each other as if it's sort of drawing you together. Does Alfonso make you feel like that when he kisses you? Yeah. His name is Giovanni and I wouldn't know. That's good. He's been dating you for a month and he hasn't tried to kiss you? What's wrong with him? Oh, it's not him. It's you. You don't have feelings for him. That's why you don't like the flowers. That's why you don't want him to kiss you. But you wanted me to kiss you. It was fake. All right, now take her face with your hands. We were just posing for a picture. It's bull. Olivia? Alfonso. Giovanni. Giovanni. Hi. We were just... Doing a photo shoot? <clears throat> oh, I see. So you're Giovanni. Oui. Did you get today's flowers? Flowers? Yes! Oh, I and they were those. lovely. Right, they were so lovely. She loved them so much she can't wait to give you a big, sloppy, passionate, definitely not fake kiss. I like the way you think. <sighs> Uh, so you drove all the way from Asheville just to see if I got your flowers? And to see if you would like to have dinner with me tonight. Oh, <laughs> you're so sweet. So what do you say? Are you available? Of course. Um, when I get off ex at six, I just need to finish some editing. So I will pick you up at six? You know, you look so kissable with your hair all down and flowy like that. And I will see you at six. I hate you. This is totally going on my show. You can't do that. Honey, I can do whatever I want. Oh, is it really that good? Here, let me see. Mom? Well, I've enjoyed this as much as a possum eating a sweet potato. But I gotta get going. I have an appointment at Maxwell's Massage and Manicures. Mm, you know, this was good. I know, right? <laughs> well, ta-ta. I cannot believe she's going to put that on her show. She's not. I deleted it. <laughs> Thank you, Celeste. I'd hate for Giovanni to see that. Why? It does not matter. It was fake, right? Right. We were just posing for a picture, right? Right. You didn't feel anything, right? Next time on When Fact Met Fiction. I can't believe you didn't tell me, John. Olivia, I'm sorry. I wanted to, but there was never a good time. Well, the least you can do is take me with you. Wait, you want to you go with me? Yes, of course. Hey guys, I'm Miles Rice. Thanks so much for watching this episode of When Fact Met Fiction. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a single episode. I'll see you around. <laughs>